morning everyone I wanted to show you something I have it wrapped in paper and if you ever try to make this cheese you will need to wrap it in paper but I just want to show you it is a new cheese that I've made and it feels just like a fontina I'm not sure if any of you have had that cheese but I'll show you what it looks like There we go. It cuts almost like a Fontina cheese. Look at the texture of this cheese. Do you see it? Almost like a Fontina. And this is a perfect cheese to put in sandwiches and it tastes simply delicious. Now this is a recipe that I was playing around with and uh, I was very pleased. The only thing is that when you make this cheese, after you've made it, you've got to wrap it in. Uh, I put some of my uh, hand hand towels, hand paper towels, and then brown paper, and you have to age it to the point where it gets to this type of texture. Look at that. Do you see how it how it breaks? So I'm excited to share this cheese with you. Now, I haven't really bothered melting this cheese. Not sure how it melts, but I know that when you're making sandwiches, this is fantastic, especially if you're making those Italian paninis. Uh, I'm sure you've seen them when, uh, well, when we used to eat meat, we used to have cold cuts, and then we had like slices of Fontina cheese inside our sandwiches. So basically, that's how I'm using this. Not the cold cuts, but maybe either with sausage or some vegan cocas that I make I will put some of this cheese and it feels look at that just like a Fontina a Fontina cheese so I'm excited to share this recipe with you it's very easy and you also end up making a rind when you leave it wrapped in a um, when you leave this cheese wrapped in paper as it ages it makes a nice rind on the outside of the cheese and the inside is just delicious. Now I only had a small piece left so I says I better show them before I end up e eating up all this cheese. And look how thin you could actually slice this cheese when you make this uh, this one cheese that I'm going to be showing you. Um, but there you go. Very simple. You can slice it nice and thin. You could even use where it is like a, an old cheese cheese cutter you could use that to cut your cheese this one's a little broken but there it is nice flexible cheese that you could put right into your sandwiches so I hope you like this recipe guys I will show you how I make it very simple it's not going to be any talking but I did want to show you what I had left of it and how it came out so you're going to get a nice rind the only thing is that you have to um, you have to let it absorb the liquid when you make this cheese. After it's made, uh, you let it cool off and then you're going to wrap it with some paper towels and if you don't have paper towels, just some brown paper is perfect and if the paper gets wet, just change it up and then let that age. It's been aging for over two weeks, easy over two weeks. Mind you, we were also eating this cheese um, when it wasn't as, as done because you want it to get to this texture and the trick is to uh, have patience to wait and I don't have that much patience when it comes to food especially my grandkids are over and they say Nana give me, give me some cheese I just cut it in cubes for them and they just pop it in their mouth with some apple so uh, but yes we ate most of this cheese before it got to the uh, stage that I wanted to show you and then I got busy doing other things and I never got to show you this recipe but yes I'm excited to share this recipe with you and believe it or not guess what this recipe is made with potato yes I said potato so there you go delicious I still have to work on that Fontina taste but the texture is like a Fontina cheese and it's very look at this you see this cheese like it doesn't even, it's nice and elastic -y, but very good. So there you go, guys. I hope you're going to be excited about this cheese, and I hope you try it out, and then you have to come back and let me know what you think. And it almost feels like a Swiss cheese. No, not really. 
more like a fontina cheese i'm not sure if you've ever had it but really really nice cheese for cold cut sandwiches and just to cut up in cubes for your kids to eat and there you go so i'm excited to show this and unfortunately my video is going to be a no talk video but i did enough talking for you right now to tell you what it's like so there you go i'm gonna have this later but i will wrap it up i'm working also on a different cheese a little different than this one but still again made with potato i'll show you now these aren't cheeses that um these aren't cheeses that are uh because we do cook this so it won't your probiotics really won't do much but i try to change up the recipe i'm not as crazy i mean i'm still eating it because it's delicious i'm not as crazy about this one as the one i just showed you earlier but i have to still improve this one and when i do i mean it's good the flavor is fantastic by the way but uh the texture it's a little more wet as you can tell a little more wet mind you it hasn't been aging that long um, taste is very good but I'm still working on this one cheese so I might make a new cheese where I'm gonna take this flavor with this recipe and see how that comes out but yes I am working on some cheese recipes that I want to share with you and like I said these aren't cheeses that we're gonna melt if you want melting cheese, you've got to follow some of my other recipes. I have like a buffalo mozzarella that melts nicely. But these are more for just putting, cutting up some cheese and putting it on a platter with some cold cuts or some sausages or some fruit. And the kids, you know, the little square cheeses where the kids pick up the little square and they eat it. So that's what these cheeses are like. So here you go, guys. Have patience with me. And remember, the recipe you're going to get is for this one year, which is the texture is amazing. But you do have to let it age. When I say age, is the moisture has to come out of it. So you do have to wrap it in brown paper. So if you don't have any brown paper, maybe you could get some paper bags. You could put it in there. Um, and then keep it in the fridge and keep checking that cheese and let it age until it becomes the texture that I showed you. And then it's fantastic. Normally, cheeses have to age before you eat it. This one is going back into the drying board. As you could tell, I'm still eating it. It's good, but I'm not crazy about the texture like I am with this one. So right now, the one I will be showing you, this one I will alter up before I share that recipe. And the one I will be showing you is this one unfortunately there's hardly anything left because everybody ate it and they loved it but there you go a nice rubbery cheese like the ones that you normally buy at the store perfect summer day with some fruit for the kids some apples some cute cheese perfect or just great to put in sandwiches so this is the one i'm going to share with you and if you try it guys come back leave a comment let me know how you like it and guess what guys I'll see you in the next video.
videos like this. Make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawson Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.